Can you think of a world where we constantly change definitions and what that does to the psyche? We talk about that with the woke mind virus and how they constantly change definitions in order to make people feel uncomfortable, in order to make people feel insecure with their own self and question their own reality. Well, this morning we woke up to this, of Google just changing the definition of blood bath. Overnight, over freaking night. And why, why would they do that? Why would they change a definition like bloodbath? Oh, could it be because of Donald Trump's comments on the word bloodbath and then it going around the media and then the media looking absolutely stupid uh, and taking it out of context? Well, now the idiots can go to Google and look up the word bloodbath and shove it in right wingers face and say, see, you guys were the ones that were wrong all the time. But imagine a world where we just constantly change the definition over and over again and what that does to the psyche. The, the type of cognitive dissonance that comes in play when you have words that are constantly changing where you're, you're, you're completely uncomfortable <laughs> with words and you don't even know how to talk to anyone anymore. I run into more people than ever in today's culture where they feel like they have social anxiety because they don't even know how to communicate to one another. The discomfort and confusion and stress and frustration where individuals are struggling to even exist in the, the common knowledge in today's culture has a direct reflect on our internet and the way they control our speech. The kind of communication barriers that take place where you can't even talk to each other because, well, if he's a right winger, he talks like this. And if they're a left winger, they talk like that. And so now we can't even have normal conversations with one another and grow um, because we're so confused at what words mean what to each person. It's a constant learning obstacle. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is that what bloodbath means now? Because I grew up in a different time where bloodbath had a direct correlation to economic reason. We completely don't trust sources anymore because what source, if a source starts using a word that isn't in our vocabulary or uses it in a different context or different def way to use it, now we don't trust that source anymore. Constant political discomfort, but most unlikely the emotional and psychological effects that takes place when it comes to definitions is unbelievable. The instability that it can cause, I, I, I honestly believe, I genuinely believe the <laughs> explosion that the reason most people have a lot of social anxiety is because of the political climate and the way we treat definitions of words and the fact that they people feel like it's just too much stress to even talk to another person it's just too much i'm not going to get into it i can't go there with that person um I don't want to expose myself by being a right winger because I use bloodbath in the in the terms of economic reasons. People are too stressed out to talk to one another. This is a problem and it the only way it's going to find a solution is you constantly fighting back and forcing them to change it by only using it the way it was used in the first place. That's genuinely what I believe. But I think this is one of these problems that are silently affecting our youngest, our kids more than adults. Because as adults, we can look at stuff like this and go, this is just silly. Uh, I don't need to go there. But kids are directly affected by this because they're looking for authority in their life to ground them.